viewers and subscribers welcome to Guyanese news where we discuss news for Guyana and today we have several breaking and trending topic we are going to discuss in this video first topic up is Guyanese critics might finally get arrested after a five million dollar scandal surface on the social media network and this is credible we are going to explain what is going on with Guyanese critics and this $5 million? A all new. This is a new scandal, a new lawsuit that might involve the Guyana police force. And Mohammed is involved. Then we are going to address our chief education officer, Saddam Hussein. Not Saddam Hussein from Iraq, Saddam Hussein from Guyana, who has been summoned by a top judge. To answer question where some unethical surveillance is taking place in Guyana but the reason why this is important we are going to address the biggest police station that Guyana is set to build in the country there is something going on you need to know what is taking place and why Saddam Hussein the chief education officer was summoned to the high court to answer question about some unethical some real disturbance concerning surveillance that is taking place in Guyana then we are going to talk about how the Guyana police force and the canoe is making strides along the drug trafficking trade because news that is circulating is that a well-known hairdresser and two wanted person is right now be sad after a hundred and something fifty pounds of white lady was discovered but there is something more in this story that we are going to address then one more topic that you need to see in this video I get that. That's already been recorded yes oh, it excellent, is. excellent excellent get a good picture too huh? yes this is in what you hear well I've been summoned by um, Mr. Justice Kisum right on some matters which I I can't explain, I'm not a lawyer. You don't think you're in breach of the of the judge's conservatory orders? That I have no comments on that. That's I'm not a lawyer. I can't um, But you know it's a jailable offense. Is it? Is it not? Contempt of court. I don't know. Jailable? Reporters are well uh, you know well um, educated. You might be able to advise me. All oh, right, it's in court three there. Where is that? How? Right there, sir. Right there. The judge is waiting on you. I can go in? Yeah. Look, look the clerk. You, you got a good picture though? I do, I do. Right. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. That is the chief education officer, Mr. Saddam Hussein, who has been ordered to court to answer charges of some unethical surveillance. And according to the reporter, like you heard, this offense, because the chief education officer deliberately, according to the report, did not follow the order and could find himself in jail. But that is highly impossible because we know how Guyana go politicians do not go in jail even though they are corrupt but we are addressing the biggest police station that is set to build at breakdown yes mysteriously couple years ago breakdown police station burned down mysteriously but Guyanese never realized that was a part of the plan allegedly because this biggest police station that the government is set to spend almost billions for build this police station even though Guyana is not a country that's full of crime, enough robbery, no but we are investing in the biggest police station in Guyana in the center of the city and why this is so concerning to many Guyanese in the comment section and through all the social media is that this of this station is going to be the surveillance station mm -hmm. and the surveillance station we don't know why they want to surveil Guyana but according to the drawing this is going to be about 10 story high why that is some of the reason people is questioning the mysterious burning down of breakdown police station and then the big announcement about 
the biggest central police station that is going to build. So people have questions to ask. So right now, that was one of the matter that this chief education officer, Mr. Saddam Hussein, was going to call because he was surveilling people already. He was doing it to surveil the teachers. That is why he's going to deduct the pay. So you can see much marching that is taking place in Guyana because if they catch you on marching, you're going to lose your pay, you're going to get black ball and a whole host of things. But right now, what is taking place basically, the chief education officer has been caught red-handed surveillancing people without the right authority and proper authorization. This is a serious topic. We are going to continue and keep a watch on it. This is Guyanese News. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. Hey guys, good afternoon. How the fuck is everybody doing today? So come for tell you something. I miss Mr. Muhammad and critics' friendship. Honest to God, I do miss them together because it was such a bromance. It, it was so beautiful, you know. And it's sad to see it fall apart like this here, you know. I, I don't know the, the details in between, but what I'm saying is that whatever it is, I hope that you guys could work it out because I love both of you guys, you know. Mr. Mohammed, you do so much good for the people of Guyana. You have such a great heart. And critics, he's such, a, 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 he's such an entertainer. He's an asshole, but he's a fucking entertainer. Like, he's been entertaining us for years. So you grow to love him because we're so used to seeing him. And like I said, this was such a beautiful bromance all of a sudden. So this is just messy, messy, messy. I would like to see you guys work it out some or the other, you know. And if I call in for peace, then you know that this really bothers me. Make sure you subscribe to Guyanese News if you want more breaking and trending Guyanese content. It seems like scandals hitting critics left, right and center right now, people. Because there is a new scandal that is circulating online where critics have been accused of a $5 million fraud. Yes. That is really happening. There is a photograph circulating online where T. Mohammed went and visit the family of the dead crane operator. And that is where everything come out to light. Because according to the news that is circulating, and this is credible news because it is on T. Mohammed Facebook page. It is stating that after this crane operator who was employed by critics company to Puri lost his life on the job, he was not compensated a dime. And why this is so important is because T. Mohammed, who was a friend of critics and being a person of good generosity, went out his way and gave critics five million dollars to give to the grieving family the dead man wife and his children and his immediate family t mohammed gave critics five million dollars to give to the family but according to the news critics did not give the people them the money he gave them four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and take 4.5 million dollars he get it half a million and he take the other rest 4.5 so that is where the scandal is getting outrageous so people is trying to get justice for this family because there might be a lawsuit and this credible and reliable information that is put in out there by T. Mohammed, who was critics number one supporter and number one financier. So this is serious, serious business. The person dead on your work site, they did not sue you. We don't know if you pay for the wake and the casket and the no. You just take the people money. And give them anything, even though them was the one that lost them life, they love one life. So this is very serious for critics. 
you need to come out and answer this question. Before critics do all of that, you need to call Mr. Mohammed and apologize and get back into Mohammed good ways. Because we know Mohammed is a forgiving person, but you cannot be online big enough yourself. You need to apologize and get back to the done. So right now, this $5 million lawsuit going around critics. It's a scandal hitting critics left, right and center. Just this morning, the people them really want the help. Make sure you subscribe to Guyanese News for breaking and trending Guyanese content. According to the news that is circulating around social media, a well-known hairdresser that go by the name of Jessica and four other men is said to be responsible for $64 million worth of narcotics that was caught red-handed trying to smuggle on a plane at Chedi Jagan International Airport. But people in Guyana is very concerned when we look at this photo and we know who is Guyanese, we know himself. And the people in the comment section is saying this is highly impossible for this hairdresser who does the work in tongue responsible for $64 million worth of drugs. And these are the four young men. Two of the persons was caught at the airport. They were employees at the Cherry Jagan International Airport and under surveillance and intelligent work by the Kanu and the Guyana Police Force, they were caught red-handed. And during the investigation, these three names came. These three names came up. The hairdresser who was arrested and these two wanted men. But people is saying there is more to this story because these are not the intellectual authors of this drug trafficking ring. No. Guyanese say drug mule. Drugs mule and scapegoat. That is what this seem like happening with these individual. Yes, they might be involved. We're not doubting that. They might be involved and must pay the food penalty for being involved in illegal activities. But the $64 million dollar Guyanese is kind of concerned if it's these are the persons them that really responsible or someone behind the scene like the big businessman them and politicians them these are the person we need to see being arrested yes this person might be the package man might be the smuggle man might be carrying this a and carrying that there but they are not responsible but they are playing some part of the old scheme. But we need to see more big arrests happening in this country. But that is a good work that the Guyana Police Force and the Canu did by following up this investigation that leading back to people on the street being arrested and wanted poster be issues for other people. That means the person then that working at the Cherry Jagan that at the Cherry Jagan International Airport is cooperating with the Guyana Police Force and Canoe. So we need some big arrests taking place with this situation. But it's good work on behalf of the Guyana Police Force and the Canoe. Make sure you subscribe to Guyanese News for breaking and trending Guyanese content.